Angels smoking cigarettes on rooftops in fishnets in the morning with the moon still glowing. <laughs> and here comes Jesus in an astro van rolling down the strip again. He stole. Good morning, vlog. I am just finishing up my makeup for the day. This is one of my favorite new products. It's called Pink Ice by Nude Sticks. It has this like highlighter and blush and it's just like the perfect pink shade. Anyways guys, welcome back to another home vlog. I'm literally so excited and happy to be home finally. I had a really great, I feel like it was a month. Was it a month? But yeah, I had a really amazing, I guess, month in Florida. I had the Miami open and just so much work this past month and also with Tommy getting injured he normally is not home for that long unless it's the off season he's normally home for like a week max and then he is on the tennis tour obviously a huge bummer that he got injured first round at the Miami Open but it was sort of nice I think for the both of us to have a little time at home before the spring and the summer because he's basically not going to be coming home he has a whole european clay court stretch and then obviously the french open and then i think he stays in europe to start grass court season i'm pretty sure so he really did get like a big chunk of training time at home and i got to spend it there with him so florida was great but very happy to be here when i'm here it's really a reset it really feels like my sort of like sanctuary i've been loving this Kylie cosmetic setting spray anyways I think I'm gonna do like a little weekend at home vlog and maybe like a spring reset vlog I have a lot of clothes and makeup and products to go through I really want to donate a lot of stuff yeah I need to unpack I just want to do like a big closet spring clean out now that I have an apartment in LA an entire closet in Florida and this house I'm just feeling like I don't want to say stressed but like icky about how much like stuff I have like it's sort of nauseating that I can fill up entire closets in three different states it's too much so I'm gonna be donating a ton of stuff so when I get back from my travels it's usually like I immediately run to the barn because I just want to see the horses I don't like share all of the details of my animals because the older I've gotten the more I felt like I don't know like this is my real life and these are like my hobbies and the things that I'm interested in and I never want to feel like on social media and I felt like this for a really long time that I like owed people explanations and the older I've gotten I think the more good with myself that I've gotten I've really learned I feel like how to protect my peace better and my privacy I feel like people would be surprised now in my life i could not say this before but how much privacy i actually do have in my life while vlogging every single week and having a tiktok and having instagram you just have to have some in your life that's just your life my horses are obviously something that are a part of my social media and i absolutely love sharing that content with you again like if the only content i could post would be like me sitting on a horse in a field that would be my ideal scenario eventually later in life that's like all I want to do. My goal in a few years is to buy a house with a lot of land with a pasture in my backyard and keep all my horses at my house. But until then, I'm just boarding them. But anyways, I know that a lot of you guys also, I feel like, develop relationship with them through my vlog. So I do want to give you guys like a little bit of a horse update. So some of you might know this and some of you might not, but I was away a lot this winter between tennis tournaments and being in Florida. And my original plan was to actually trail my horses down to Florida for the winter. Florida in the winter is literally like the horse capital of the world. There are so many amazing barns and trainers and there's just a lot of people that I know personally that go down there that could have helped me, put me up and like facilitated me moving my horses to Florida this winter. But something's happened right before the winter with both of my horses that, that led me to make the decision to leave them here. So Louis laminitis got really bad right before the winter. Laminitis is a horrible 
disease it's very painful for the horse and it's just like really really sad and painful so i'm actually friends with this woman who owns a rehabilitation barn in new york and it's not like super far from here maybe like an hour her and her team are literally definitely one of the best rehabilitation centers like in this area she works with honestly mainly horses that are actively in competition anyways louis has been there honestly not even being able to be ridden he's i just want to let you guys know that that's the situation with him and when i've been home and i've gone and seen him it's been very hard for me and then also at the same time i was having some steering issues with navy in the arena and my close friend lauren who is also a horse girl who sort of is always around and helping me and loving on my horses especially while i'm away connected me with a new trainer that i'm now working with and i think i did say this in the last vlog but the trainer literally was like this horse is way younger than what they said when they sold it to you and she was like this horse is pretty green which basically means it's like not fully broken meaning it's just young and just needs like a little bit more work so since louis wasn't coming with me to florida and because this trainer was super willing to work with navy like three times a week i just wanted to keep them here so that is a little horse update i'm gonna go see navy right now i'm so excited to ride him i've been riding in florida which has been so fun that's like a whole other thing that i want to tell you guys about i've gotten like really into polo recently but that's a story for another day <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm gonna wear to the barn today. Just this waffle long sleeve. I'm pretty sure this is from Brandy. The belt is from Carhartt. And and I don't remember where these jeans are from, but I will let you guys know. Look who's here! Yay! We're back! <laughs> Okay, back at my favorite store. I always have to come and see their like new seasonal stuff. Oh my God, these are so cute. There's like dried flowers in glass. Yeah, hopefully it smells good. I got a, um, chicken cutlet sandwich, and then I put balsamic glaze on it. Get the harness. Got these really springy blue candlesticks, and then I'm gonna make like a tablescape with all of these things. Also got this blue pear that I thought was really cute. This is not something I would normally get. And then this blue um, candle holder, and then these really pretty detailed floral candlesticks, and then Got these other candlesticks and these dish cloths. Got this book for bread because I don't make bread and whenever I've tried, I've been really bad at it. So maybe this will be helpful. I also got a sourdough starter for Christmas that I need to figure out how to use. Got this quilt, probably gonna put it in my bedroom. And then I got this candle that has pressed flowers on it. And that's all. I like them when they're burnt down a lot. So I'm gonna let these burn and then I'm gonna get some flowers and I will, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Adidas sent a lot of really cute shoes. Really nice of them. Okay, got this suitcase from Bays. I'm doing a brand deal with them soon so this has like three luggage in it i love this color the last ad i did was the pink one and i asked them for the green one so really excited about that shop rumored sent some really cute stuff revlon i don't know what this brand is this is 
definitely CeraVe. Yep. In beauty. Love their stuff. And then some beauty stuff over here. I think this is Kylie's new perfume. And Estee Lauder sent a bunch of skincare. I love Estee Lauder. Like, obsessed with all of their stuff. YSL sent this cute product. I'm actually going to get my hair done on Tuesday, so I'm going to bring this to my hairdresser because she loves, loves these lip glosses, and I do get a lot of them. I got this makeup travel case from Say Beauty, and they sent a restock. Yeah, it's so cute. Still here, which is a really cute denim brand. And what's in here? Some Summer Fridays, Day Hair Care. There's a lot of stuff in here. Kosas, Moon Juice. I need to go through this. I'm probably gonna end up donating a lot of it. Ooh, cute. Dibs Beauty, so cute. House Labs, stuff is so, so good. I'm gonna keep a lot of it, but I need to definitely go through it. Waterloo, 437 sent their new active. I think I have to do a campaign with them with this stuff. Sol de Janeiro sent this really cute little summer PR package. Elwood sent their new collection that's coming out. It's this pink color. I'm gonna wear it probably tonight or tomorrow, so I'll show you guys, but it's really, really cute. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, I'm gonna go through this skincare and decide what I'm gonna donate and keep. <laughs> This is so cute. I don't know where this came from, yeah. but I'm obsessed. I'm gonna put this in my new Jeep in Florida. That's so cute. Okay, this is my outfit. I'm just wearing this Elwood oversized crew neck, really cute. These jeans are from Girlfriend, and then my shoes are from Adidas. I'm so excited to eat this hat that I got at Wimbledon. I got it the first day I was there. It's definitely one of my favorite hats that I own. It's been a very rainy, cozy Saturday. My dad is here and I'm just gonna make him some dinner. And Amanda's here. I'm gonna make some spicy rigatoni with sausage and peas. I'm also gonna make some fresh bread. the bread actually turned out it looks good I need to try it but for my first go I'm really happy cheers <laughs> oh that's really good wow do you think that's good really good Amanda I ate no oh, problems <laughs> live at my house in the summer yeah and covid what did we do we would bake pies oh we baked apple pies we do that a lot i fried all my hair off Brown wait can my... you show the vlog the <laughs> picture of you with white hair i do my nails done so bad it's giving grow out girls wait actually drew said to me yesterday he goes wait why do they put your nail <laughs> no <laughs> this far up no 
<laughs> no. I was like, dude, I just need to teach you something. It's Miranda. called. Let's see. I kind of miss her. <laughs> Do you miss her? Ooh, she's like she's, a character. She's eating. She kind of was. I look like Ice Princess. Yeah, you do. And I decided to do the same thing as Amanda and just all my hair fell out of my head. Wait, do you have the pictures of my buzz cut camel cut? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Guys, I was so down bad during COVID. I, during COVID, caught my boyfriend living at my parents' house DMing a girl. Well... <laughs> started with one and then it you know kept going but tragic times tragic times it was really bad it led to a lot of hair appointments since I was going through such a hard time during COVID I feel like I wasn't vlogging at all really I wasn't being really real about what was happening in my life because it was so devastating so anyways I wasn't really vlogging but it, oh <laughs> I mean I don't even have the, ah but it wasn't like oh my god like my ends are broken Guys, I, since I was doing bleach and tones, it was bleach to my scalp, and it was left on for too long, and it burnt my scalp, and it gave me a buzz cut. <laughs> and, yeah, I feel like I'm, like, obviously, my hair is much healthier now, yeah, but the spot, is, yeah, the, the buzz cut is out, <laughs> it's is out, but, what year was this, but to be honest, like, my hair has never fully recovered since COVID. But anyways, here's the tea. Spill. Wait. Wait, it looks so bad. <laughs> oh. Amanda, zoom, zoom. <gasps> ah! And that actually like makes me sad for me. I know. Funny no, but I didn't moment. cry about it. I didn't cry about it. Yeah, you did. I think you were just in shock. <laughs> I was like, hee hee. I think you flipped your part. <laughs> I had a fucking comb over. You did and you would always Wait. use the wax stick to- oh! <laughs> I'm so triggered right now. Guys, when the wax stick started going viral on TikTok, I already been had you the wax you stick. You been knew about the I've wax been... stick. I've <laughs> been- <laughs> the next swipe. Oh, I feel so sad for you here. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> not me trying. So since all my hair was falling out, but not like, again, not being dramatic, like actually buzz cut and like the whole back chunk of my hair left the chat. I bought, <laughs> I, bought I bought a wig and Miss Amanda said... Try on. Try on all. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> Wait, what is this? Guys, I actually, like, now that we're fessing up, I did a whole brand deal in a wig um, on my YouTube, actually. Did you? Yeah, that Princess Polly try on haul was all in a wig. Good morning vlog. I just got ready for the day. Amanda said I looked, what did you say that I looked like? southern belle um amanda and i are gonna run to the farmer's market and then i think we're gonna run to the market and get some stuff for toppings for our bagels and then we're gonna make the bagels i actually might make the dough before we run out and then it can rise while we're gone i curled my hair but i actually think i'm gonna wear like a very casual outfit today i have to say guys redoing my bathroom like renovating it was the best thing that I've ever done. It's like investing, if you can, in your space and in the place that you're spending time. It just feels so good. I'm so happy that I did that. I'm gonna go get dressed and then we're gonna head to the market. I was gonna wear an outfit and maybe take a photo, but then I thought about it and, and I really just wanna wear what I wore yesterday. I got this pink sweat set from Elwood. I think it's dropping. It is dropping next Friday. Um, and it's really, really, really cute. Yep. Okay, we are going to make some bagel dough and we're gonna make, we're gonna make a lot of different toppings today. I wanna make cinnamon crunch. Okay. Okay, I wanna do poppy seed, okay. sesame seed, everything. Whoa. Cheddar jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We should have a bagel stand outside my house and sell them. We should. A dollar a bagel. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get into it. I'm very excited. I don't even remember how I made this dough yesterday, so water. Water, flour. yeast, and flour. Some active yeast. I can't believe that's it. That's all it took. That's all it took. Okay, let's get into it. I am crediting most of how amazing the bread and my bagel, tester bagel was, to this flour. 
or I feel like it's just a matter of getting any sort of good bread flour. This is a high protein flour, um, which I think helps with the rising of your dough. Dough is very temperamental. It is like a science. It's not like cooking. I got this from Ballerina Farms. My, my mom got it for me. She got me like four things. I'm gonna do four cups of flour. So for Christmas, my mom also bought me a sourdough starter that I have not started yet, but it came with all these tools and these bread baskets. So these have been really helpful because I feel like these are just important and helpful when making bread. So I'll leave the link for that stuff, but I'm gonna follow exactly the recipe that I followed yesterday because it worked really, really well. The one thing about this recipe that did make me a little bit nervous was you don't have to allow the yeast to rise first but it worked out for me yesterday so and then I'm gonna do a full teaspoon of active yeast and then one and a half teaspoons of salt I just sort of eyeball that but you can measure it out if you want and then you're just gonna mix all of this together two cups of warm sort of like bath temp water. And I'm just gonna sort of stir this together and then I'm gonna go put it on the KitchenAid with my dough hook. And I'm gonna allow this to knead for a bit just until it's pretty um, smooth looking. Oh wait, I also wanted to add some maple syrup. I'm also gonna add a heavy dash of maple syrup to this. So this is a dough hook. Um, it came with my KitchenAid. I got this for Christmas. Um, but yeah, you can order KitchenAid on Amazon or go to any home store. I'm just gonna put it on the slowest setting and let it just do its thing. I'll show you guys. I looked out my window and below is eating rocks. Okay, the dough is smooth. I'm just gonna get it off the hook and your dough should be pretty sticky. So make sure to oil the bowl that you're gonna transfer it to. Okay, I'm just taking this wooden bowl. I'm gonna coat it with olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna put some olive oil on top just so it doesn't Totally dry up and then I'm just gonna cover it with this cloth and then put it in my oven I have two ovens. This house is very old So they have like a new oven and then there's this older oven here. It's not on or anything The dough just needs to be in a room temperature like warmer place while it's rising So I'm gonna leave this in here and then we're gonna go get the topping Huge day. 
Patrick, I think this is the best bagel I've ever had. No, it's so good. I've never been to eat a bagel again. Ever.